In this video, we are discussing the index questions related to alkynes. The first one is write the structures of different isomers corresponding to the fifth member of the alkyne series. Also write the IUPAC names of all the isomers, what type of isomerism is exhibited by different pairs of isomers. So first of all, the fifth member of the alkyne series, the moment we think, okay, fifth member of the alkyne series, it's probably pentine and we would have started writing. But in alkynes and alkenes, the methane, the one with the one carbon atom is not considered. So ethane is the first member of our series. And so the fifth member of the series would be hexane. So hexane, the molecular, the molecular formula is c 6 h 2n minus 2, 6 to the 12 minus 2, that is 10. So we need to write the various structures. Let's start with the easiest of the lot, uh, straight chain. So this is one possible way. The other way would be a branch with just 5 carbon atoms, right? And you have a branch over here. Now, when you have the branch over here also, you can have the triple bond at various points. So, I'll write that as well. So, there can be a triple bond between these two, but not this one, of course. And then, we'll reduce it even further. And we will get a four-membered chain. So, the four-membered chain is going to be, obviously, four-membered. 1, 2, 3, and 4, and right, uh, so we cannot consider, I mean, this is the only thing that you can possibly consider for a 4 member. We will not be considering 3 because you will, I mean, because here in that case, you just have a 4 member chain this way. So, yeah. So let's look at the isomers which are possible for the alkyne. Now the first one is going to have the carbon triple bond between the first and the second. Let me just number it. This is again like we did it for the first question in this uh, first index question for this chapter. I'm just numbering it for our uh, convenience. So there's going to be a triple bond between the first and the second carbon atom. So C CH2, CH2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So the name is going to be 1, ein. So hex, 1, ein. Next is going to be between the second and the third carbon atom. So CH3, C, triple bond C, CH2. 2CH2CH3 CH2, and in this case 1 2 so hex 2 ein now it can also be between 3 and 4 so let's do that as well so CH3 single bond CH2 single bond C triple bond C CH2 CH Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it can be numbered either from the left to right or right to left. The carbon, I mean the bond, the triple bond is between the third and the fourth carbon atom. So one, two, three, and four. So the name would be hex three I. Now these three are positional position isomers. Because there is variation in terms of the position of the triple bond. The next one is where you have this particular structure. So the first possibility is, okay, first of all, this carbon atom cannot have a triple bond because it already has this carbon bound to it. So you have uh, the possibility of a triple bond being here. So I'll just number it for our convenience again. So between third and the fourth and fourth and fifth we can have. We cannot have it between two and three or one and two because of this carbon bond. So CH3, C, CH3. First we are considering between the third and the fourth carbon atom. So 
oh I'm sorry CH single bond C triple bond C H so oh I'm sorry 4 CH 3 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect so this is the molecule you will be numbering it from the right to left because we need the lesser number for the triple bond so the name is 4 methyl but 2 ine similarly we can have a double bond a triple bond between the oh i'm sorry pent 1 pent 2 ine there can be a triple bond between the fourth and the fifth carbon atom as well. So let's just write that quickly. So CH3, CH, CH3, uh, CH2, single bond, C triple bond, CH. Now this will also be numbered from the right to left. So this is the fourth carbon. Right. So we have the methyl group attached at the fourth carbon. So four methyl Pent 1 ion. Now, again, these two will be considered to be position isomers, these both. But this set, these two isomers, as well as these three isomers, if you consider them as two sets, this and this are chain isomers. So you can take this and this or this and this. But anyway, point is there is a difference in chain length. But they have the... Uh, same I mean they have the same molecular formula so this case uh, let's just number it quickly so one two three four and five so here you can't have a triple bond between the second third and fourth carbon atoms that's pretty clear so there's only a possibility between the first and second or fourth and fifth and since one two and four five basically the same we'll only be considering one of them so C H triple bond C single bond C H CH3, and you have a CH2, a CH3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this will be numbered from the left, not from the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, the name is 3 methyl pent 1. Okay, so again you have a chain, isomers, chain isomerism shown over here. Next is the one here. And since this carbon atom is incapable of showing, uh, I mean it's incapable of performing a triple bond, it's only going to be between these two carbon atoms. So the structure is going to become CH3C. Okay, and numbering is obviously going to be from the right to left. Right, uh, so you have two methyl groups attached at the third position. So 3, 3 dimethyl but 1 I. <laughs> right, uh, so that's about it. I think we got. Seven. We're supposed to get seven structures according to the solution in the textbook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven structures. And I mean, it's instead of trying to look at what the textbook gives you, you, you might as well try solving it on your own and, you know, doing this way. This way I found it much easier. So you can follow this method instead of trying to remember what is given as the answer. Uh, the next one is how will you convert ethanoic acid to benzene? Now this particular question can be basically compiles all the preparation, all the chemical reactions that you've learnt in this chapter. So we need to convert ethanoic acid which is CH3COOH to benzene. Pause the video right now. Try go back to your uh, all the reactions that you learnt and try and figure out how you can do it. If you want to, you can go from the backwards 
because you're trying to learn right now you can start with benzene and go backwards that is you if you remember there was a reaction in the end that we learned about where in eth ethyne molecule gets converted to uh, benzene and maybe you'll be able to get it through that process that's fine as well so uh, we'll be starting with ethanoic acid so ethanoic acid that is acetic acid also called as it is going to react with NaOH and this leads to the fo formation of sodium salt of ethanoic acid so CH3 COO minus Na plus is formed and this is undergoing a chemical reaction with soda lime and heating is going to give us an alkane so that's methane methane which is formed now methane is going to react with chlorine and H mu basically underwent a substitution reaction to form CH C CH three C L. Okay, now what is happening over here? Now this CH three C L is an alkyl halide, and an alkyl halide can be used for the synthesis of an higher um, alkane. Right. So in the presence of Na and dry ether, that is a Woods reaction. It is going to lead to the formation of CH3, CH3 or C2H6 that is ethane. Now this is undergoing a reaction with chlorine. Okay, and that's going to again lead to the formation of C2H5Cl. Right, now this is undergoing again a reaction with KOH, potassium hydroxide to form an alkene so we are converting from an alkane to alkene now this alkene is reacting with bromine to get a vicinal dihalide okay and we know from vicinal dihalides we can synthesize a Wait, um, KOH, alcoholic KOH, we can synthesize an alkene as well. So, one of the steps that we follow, CHBr, right, and this reacts with sodamide, NaNH3, uh, for us to get a CH2 triple bond, sorry, CH triple bond, CH. Now this is going to undergo a reaction with red hot iron tube and this is at 873 Kelvin to give us benzene. Okay I know this is extremely complicated so I would suggest uh, go to your textbooks or rather if you have a list of all the reactions like preparation and uh, um, the chemical reactions of alkanes, alkenes and alkynes or you can basically open the PDF that's in the description below and what you can do is you can start with benzene go backwards try and go backwards it's completely fine try and go backwards try and solve it on your own and the moment you're able to do that I think you'll have a deeper understanding of these reactions now with that we're done with the index questions of alkynes the next video we'll be continuing with aromatic hydrocarbons